Hello everyone, we are back. And guess what? We saved the best for last, because right after this we are breaking it down, I think. So who knows what's gonna happen after this, but I am pooped, and I bet you you're pooped, and I think everybody else is tired, right? Getting yeah. there, yeah, getting there. We're, yeah, we're done, we're, we're pretty much done here. Well, guess who we have here? Mr. Murphy from Fact or Faked, Sci-Fi. Um, thank you for hopping on really quick for us here. I know it's been a busy weekend. It has been. It's been, but it's been fun. I think everybody had a blast. Total uh, blast. Total yes. blast. Um, you know, Anthony Sanchez did a fantastic job for being his first time doing something like this. You know, this is really cool. Um, and uh, I think many more things are gonna come out of this and hopefully we can see you again and one of his other type of, I think he's gonna have many more uh, going on. So. Yes, and he has mentioned about these other uh, upcoming events, and right. I think we will be there. So. Sweet, sweet. Well, um, fact or fake, man? This is a hot season three or four? Three. Three, right? Yes. Uh, I remember when you guys came down to Fresno, the, them, them night walkers, them whatever night crawlers, and yeah. I guess the people have different names from, but night crawlers is what been you know people have been calling them. Yes. Um, your show is is different than than what I have seen in the past, and and it's I don't want to say MythBusters per se, but you guys you know go out look for great stuff, and because you know nowadays there's CGI, there is you know people who like to just go out and hoax, put stuff on YouTube, and people see that and go oh my God that's the real stuff, but there's just so much of this we needed somebody to get out there and say hey wait a minute you know this particular video is like got two million hits but it's freaking fake you know and you you know and we need to tell people that you know this stuff is not for real that's where you guys come in we do and and actually um it's funny that you compared us or you mentioned mythbusters because when the show was first being conceived uh, the sort of nickname we had for ourselves was Clip Busters. Really? Yeah. And that was just like internal. That was never anything that was being considered to be uh, the name that we would ultimately go with. But what we really tried to do is try to validate the legitimacy of a video that is claimed to be paranormal in origin. Right. So if in that process we find a more reasonable explanation that does not make the leap the paranormal and we have a consensus we'll sure. say that but even if we have a split decision we'll each voice our own opinions right but sometimes like in the nightcrawler case mm -hmm. uh, when we don't get close to replicating it uh, and then we have an investigation that suggests that there is something uh, to the original video then the case remains open and those are my favorite cases right and that's where the audience get to make up their own mind on it because basically, yes. basically you have given everything you can to say here it is you offer the decision I mean uh, if finally you know if you guys come up with the case and you guys throw it on the computer or you guys come up and rent a helicopter and, I mean a lot of these things can be um, you, know, you can actually make a UFO and actually put it up in the sky and pretty much say, look at it, it's identical, but there's a good possibility just because you can make it that it's not real. Yes. You know, and yes. that's what stinks about this is because, you know, you, it, I hate to, you know, because there are people out there who, who, who possibly might have the actual photograph or video, but somebody can easily with the CGI and go out there and just make identically the same thing. How is it, I mean, it, you guys have to run into that all the time. Well, we do, and then the, the danger is that um, if we're not careful, we can be get, get a little jaded mm -hmm. and then become dismissive of a video that could be an, an actual capture of, of evidence. Right. But when the, fo the, the show first started, uh, my wife Anita and I, when you know we were, we were trying to see, well, how can we, you know, looking at these YouTube videos, like let's you, use UFOs for an example, how could we replicate this very, very quickly and have it look just as convincing? Mm -hmm. And just in our bedroom window, uh, we're on top of a hill, and you're looking over the neighborhood, and the lights in our room was off, but we held an LED flashlight, like you know, at the closed window. I filmed it with my cell phone camera wow. and I need to move the flashlight in the room and it looked like this glowing disc that was hovering over Los Angeles. I then took that video and I emailed it to the producers and my colleagues at the production company that produces Factor of Fate mm -hmm. and they went, wow, this is great UFO footage. Where, where did this come from? 
came from our bedroom. <laughs> wow, psych right there, big time. Now, was that during the actual series or was that before? That's before. That's before it aired when we were trying to come up with some possible techniques. Got it. Uh, and then that, that idea of shining a light at glass where you would then see a landscape behind it mm -hmm. then grew. And then when we, when uh, the team, we had about a year together mm -hmm. to sort of um, r really uh, get our chemistry in sync. Uh, and we started doing our own investigations. Then we, we kind of upscaled it, and we shot a, a scissor reel that the network wanted. And we used that same concept, but okay. on a bigger scale. I got a, an easel, I went to Home Depot, I got a sheet of glass, uh, and we did it with lasers. And then that concept grew to even larger, so the very first premiere, the, the very first episode. Uh, it's the one out in the desert with the window and the two tripods, because it was a light, like, yeah, had the hyper jumping. The, that's the, the Arizona jumping. Lights case. Okay. Oh, I thought that was the one you were going to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Arizona Lights case. Okay. Um, where now we got you know an 80 pound sheet of glass, right. giant C stands, very powerful lasers, and then we did it on a large scale. So right. that whole idea started off with something that we just wow. had around our house very cool. to now being you know very big. It, it looked pretty pretty convincing, but there were some some uh, very real differences to compared to the original video. Uh -huh. So that case as, as also open. like an open case. Wow. Yeah. Um, has there been a video that has come across <laughs> you guys when you guys are sitting down that's like just blown off? Because you know, you guys have to split two, you guys go over there, two you guys or three guys over there. Um, is there a situation where you guys said, no, we want to all do this one? Has there what? been that one video that nobody, no, I want to do it. No, I want to do it. No, I, you know, all of them, you know what I'm saying? The whole crew would want to do a particular video. We, yes, we have. The, um, we've had those discussions, but um, you know the, the format of the show it's is such that point. it's really it's two teams going right. into different locations, and then we come back and then we we compare the results right. with each other. So uh, it, it's never happened where they've done a six-team member joint large-scale mm -hmm. case, uh, but uh, but we'll see what the future brings. Yeah, you never know. You yeah. Never know. So season three, I'm, I, I think it's going really good with you guys. Thank I you. mean, it's I, everybody I talk to, even I have people who are like 60 freaking years old watch your show. Yeah. You know, and so it's like, you know, people who, like I said, like Mistbusters love this because, you know, this gives them the opportunity or the people who don't really believe to actually watch you guys and say, okay, this is a good possibility. This is a good possibility. I mean... Um, that's awesome, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of people like us doing what you guys are doing, and, you know, we appreciate you guys going out there and at least telling people, you know, this stuff could be real. And and you brought up a good point. Um, we have found that with Factor Fake that the target audience, which is the you know, preferred demographic, uh, we're exceeding that on both ends. So we have a, a younger audience, we have an older audience, we have the core group that it's that uh, they tried to target. Mm -hmm. So what that reveals is that Fact or Fate has become somewhat of a family show. And then when I go to conferences, I find that that is true. And speaking of people, you have the parents mm -hmm. and their parents and the grandkids all in the same room watching it. Watching. It's kind of, it's, we have some creepy episodes, but um, it's presented in such a way that really everybody can enjoy it without, you know, being too freaked out. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, you know what? I'm going to let you go because your wife is just dying out there. So it's time for you to go home. <laughs> and I know you both of you guys have worked your asses off this weekend. So it's time. To, I want to let you guys go. Oh. I appreciate you coming on. Everybody watch Factor Fake, and I know they're still watching it, and I don't even have to tell people to watch it because people are watching you. Well, if I could just mention... Absolutely. Um, okay, so the the next two episodes are going to be r really good episodes. So, you know, now we're on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m., um, 8 Central, but the season finale is going to be coming up, not this Tuesday, but the following. Okay. It's it's really one you, you, you don't want to miss. Um, it, Spill it. I want to hear it. Spill it. Well, no, I'll put it like this. <clears throat> we, we've done what was thought to be the impossible. It's we, we really it, it it went overboard with this one. It's it's an amazing case. Really? Yeah, it's so, really so, really good. So we're, we're talking some money was spent. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you know when you have when you have more viewers, then then it allows for more exotic um, locations. Uh -huh. And with some of those locations, you have some challenges that wouldn't otherwise present themselves. So we wanted to take on some mysteries that have been perplexing man for 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 the, for the ages. 
and um, and I think people will really enjoy this particular episode coming up. Wow, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Very cool. Okay, well, guys, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having and me. And I, I, I'm not going to say, but I, I watch the show just like everybody else. Very so, good. so sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. -bye. No, 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 there's a live stream video on live stream. So, uh huh. PSI research? Okay, okay. I don't, I don't watch it because you know I just, start, I'll start laughing. But it's, it's, we're serious though, as you can see, we're serious in what we do. So.
Nope, it's over here.
Hey, get on the your computer. Oh, you already did, right?